<laughs> okay. Come on. Good oh. afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Dad Me Podcast. If you're in the Philadelphia area, this evening we're having a great show at Helium Comedy Club that benefits St. Jude's uh, sick children stuff. Oh, God, I almost had it. <laughs> oh, no, but that's it. Is it? it? Is okay. It's perfect. Yeah. It's the oh name of the hospital, St. Jude's Sick Children's St. Jude's for Sick Children's Stuff. <laughs> it's at Helium Comedy Club. It's got us. It's got all four of us and Sean Gardini. And uh, <laughs> I forget. God damn. <laughs> you don't forget. The mayor. Don't and the mayor. mayor. Oh, God. And, you little and, um, say, say it. it. Say it. <laughs> Brian Six. And our sensational guests, Karen Margolis and Amanda Gale. Thank Welcome. you guys so much for being with us today. How the knives treating you? I just cut myself a little bit. Oh, so uh, yeah. Good, good, good. They'll get you. This it's is gorgeous. A, it's this a lesson. Is really nice. I have to learn as an adult. Is this like a map of the world? What is this? Uh, It's what you see. Oh, you know? got it, got it. It could be if you're neuroatypical. Mm -hmm. If you're a brave voice, actually, if you're a brave voice, it actually looks more beautiful. <laughs> it's if kind you're of like stunning a... and brave, then it is a map Okay, of the then world. it is the map of the world. Yeah, exactly. Again, shout out Jacob Amon. Thank you for. Thank you for giving us the most important conversation pieces I've ever heard. <laughs> is this also by Jacob, this one specifically? No, that's from my barber. Different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This makes me feel safe being in Philly. Yeah, that's for giving wiggers fades. <laughs> <laughs> That's the excuse me, my man model. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to give a quick shout out to the boys at uh, Victus for making this sick bat for us. Oh, my God. Dude, how cool was this fucking thing? Were there fucking names, names engraved in it, too? I can't believe it. In wow. gold? In gold leaf? Come on, dude. How many how many bros? I mean, you could, any any old dickhead could buy a custom baseball bat, but to have one presented to you, we had a ceremony for it. We had to go get down on one knee and receive it in white gloves. Touch both of our ears with it. Mm -hmm. Dude, they make fucking Bryce Harper's bats. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm honored. I can't believe it. We're, we're, it's an embarrassment of uh, abundance for us right now. And uh, again, I'm, I'm hitting the speed wobbles. I don't know how to. I don't know how to fully uh, embrace all this uh, light in my life. It's exciting having all these weapons now. Yeah. What about you guys? When when good stuff starts happening for you, do you feel like it kind of gets like tough to accept it? Or are you just like, really oh, yeah, sense. obviously. No. No, it's hard. I'm very, very self-sabotaging. You have to take it one day at a time. Yeah. yeah. If mm -hmm. you think about the totality of good stuff that it might be happening to you now and then how it could even be more good stuff later, devastating. Yeah, it is disgusting. Yeah. It's hard That's to a take. disgusting thought process. Yeah, yeah, You have yeah. to think, like, eventually this will be bad or everyone will she hate will me drop. just for the good stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything will sure. be so bad someday. Yeah. Not, I don't mean, like, permanently. I mean, something really sad is going to happen. You're going to go through heartbreak. Something, Are you going like... to do this tonight at the show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is this my the bit. sermon, her sermon. <laughs> yeah. You're going gonna to go through heartbreak. Yeah, 200 yeah. stage four <laughs> children. Like, look, you guys are going to have bad days. Yeah. The diagnoses are going to get tough. Listen, yeah. real talk. We're taking the station out. You've already taken four stages. Kate, so. <laughs> yeah, enough about you guys. <laughs> are you going to have any at the show? Sick kids? Yeah. I yeah. Wish. Or just like wow. sick what? kids. <laughs> yeah. That was their dying wish was our show. So, Aww. yeah. That was actually the last time uh, you did one of these benefits. I I think I just did 10 minutes about like imagining just sick children in beds just like, Papa. Please, please tell me you'll have retarded guys on a stage for me. My, I'm running out of time, Papa, but please, the other children need retarded guys to talk about, like, common farts and stuff. Papa, please, it's getting so dark. Papa. And everyone pretty much hated it. I think I, think I saw I women funny. in scrubs in the crowd just like, mm -mm. <laughs> no, no, we did it. Talk more about how we're heroes. <laughs> we can try it again tonight. Yeah. yeah. Take I'll two. I'll see if these fucking dickheads are, are any more appreciative of it. I don't, we do like a poll of the audience because we do it in New York. We sometimes will ask the audience how many people um, are here for the kids and it's always zero. <laughs> oh, man. No, I'm telling everyone I'm there for the kids. Is it always for a good cause? Yeah. Yeah. It was Ukraine, our first show, and that was everyone there pro was for Ukraine. Pro or anti? <laughs> uh, pro Ukraine. It, okay. When you, a few anti, anti, and we were like, you can't be in sure. here, so, yeah. yeah. I mean, on paper, that is a good cause, I agree, but what, I mean, is anyone no, it, out there doing the work for bad causes? We could do that. Like for domestic violence? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like getting husband's fists fixed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, welcome to St. Tim's uh, DUI bail money benefit. <laughs> I'm helping uh, stepdads uh, pay for their nephew's broken arms and stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, Ukraine turned there. out to be not as good. Sometimes the causes we pick turn out to be bad causes. I you know. know. I'm actually <laughs> waiting to see if childhood cancer is actually something we should be fighting. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. We, we weren't totally sure, but we decided to commit. Yeah. Damn. You actually just said that. Ukraine wasn't that good of a yeah. cause. Well, I, I, I I'm saying there's nuance. Voice. I'm saying there's nuance. I'm just saying I'm being brave. I'm saying it's no, her hot take. She's a I comedian. Have a, I have a knife right now, so I'm feeling.
feeling uh, dude, brave. <laughs> you're, I'm 100 percent on your side. Wow, that's great to like hear. Maybe we just shouldn't be in there. I don't know. I don't How know. How refreshing! I don't know. Oh my god. Yes. Or maybe it wasn't real. I've always heard that take. Oh, let's fucking go. You guys <laughs> rule. Oh my god. <laughs> Is, did you? Was there Ukrainian war? We never saw fo- photos. I right? heard that they were full of Nazis. Yeah. I don't know. I don't I'm know. Saying, I'm like, just saying that I don't know. It's not hard to go over there and just find pre-existing rubble. We don't know that yeah, any of that's yeah, new. Yeah, yeah. I think most of Eastern Europe is just rubble and people in like brown coats. Yeah. They, they had two world wars and they have one color. Yeah. <laughs> How could that not have been them? Yes, dude. Yeah, I don't buy that. I mean, yeah. Yeah, show I us the footage. So did you guys show give the money? Footage. Did you ask for the money back from show Ukraine? Or once they show us the footage, right? What, yeah, like, yeah. Sometimes All we have our dollars. <laughs> yeah, and our seven twenty-five. Yeah, we requested yeah. back. Welcome. That's the best. The fucking best. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, it's one of fun tonight. All right, going back to Speed Wobbles, what's the last really good thing that happened to both of you? You know, it's just been so many blessings. Um, the last really good thing that happened to me, I mean, we're here doing the show. We're, like, actually really incredibly excited to be here and do it. That's, like, I guess the literal most recent great thing that's happening. A lot of people have that right reaction. Now. When they see the studio <laughs> that Danny built, they go, this is church. We're at Dad Me. We're, we're so excited to be here. The show is, like, yeah. months planned. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's true. we've got another monthly. We've got, we do The Audacity is what it's called for not, like, a great reason. It's just what it's called. We do the same show in New York at the stand tomorrow. That's another big, great thing. And I love the stand. That's love great. the stand. And what else great is happening? Oh, I, I was going to say, yeah, being here is the last great thing to happen to me. Yeah. Most recent, uh, for sure. Um, we did not get shot in Philly. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. We, we've not been <laughs> Oh, you mentioned um, becoming like anti heroes for the sake of raising money. Danny's kind of doing that right now. He's got the, uh, the vestibule of the studio decorated uh, in honor of both Chinese mass shooters from the weekend. So thank you, Danny. Let's walk that back. <laughs> we decorated for a Lunar New Year party. <laughs> we didn't know that one of these people was going to create an, a, an atrocity in Northern California. He ran out and got the decorations the second we saw the it second, on Yeah, the second that we saw <laughs> the, the, the Half Moon Bay shooting. Yeah. I like, I like how it took one guy to go from stop Asian hate to stop Asians. <laughs> yes, dude. These aren't real thoughts. We're we're trying to be retarded. Stop Asian. <laughs> Jesus. They must be stopped. Yeah. That Much one guy now. had to be stopped. Yeah. There's probably more. Oh, yeah, West there's Virginia. There's a billion of them. There's, there's way too many of them. Yeah. I'm not saying, like, kill them. I'm just saying when you have that many of yeah, them, it's like, it come back, on, man. Walk it yeah. back. Yeah. Don't disrespect the le- 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 year of the leaping rabbit. What is it? Is that it? Is, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think you're right. Yeah, it's, it's the year of the rabbit. Is it? Mm. Oh, rabbit. That's a good there year. Yeah. It's my year. Oh, yeah. This it'll is be your year? year. Yeah, that's why oh, I threw the party. You were born. <laughs> you were born in the year of the leaping rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> I was the. I'm the year of the wood ox. Does that I'm have the any ox significance? Too. Are you? Yeah, yeah. But does it, is that significant for any reason, Danny, or do you only know about yours? I only know about mine. Oh my God. <laughs> I know my wife is the dragon, and I'm a bunny, so that kind of sucks. Oh, Isn't the yeah. dragon the best one? Isn't it the luckiest and best one? For sure. Mm. There's and bad ones like rat. That can't be good. They're like, no, it's good. No, no it's rats, not. Are, rats are smart. Yeah, but they, they're they gross. Dude, they're fertile. Bisexual goth girls keep them as pets. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Yeah. How bad can they be? Facts. And they have beady red eyes just like I do. <laughs> Stop. It's true. No, no, no. I, this is not, not me being disparaging. I'll go into a store, and this happens to me actually all the time, because my eyes get really red and dry, like, on a constant basis. And I can't keep up with it. It's like, I can only do so much. I have to, like, you know, like, be talking to people and doing blah, blah, blah. My eyes are just going to do what they're going to do. And so I'll go into a store, and I've gotten this a bunch of times where a woman will come up to me and go, I love your pink eyeliner. And I just have to tell her that it's just because my eyes are beady and red. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just scheming is all. <laughs> but, uh, but then do you have, like, also, like, positive traits? Like, are you good at solving a maze for cheese <laughs> yeah yeah you have to you have to take it all That's in right. you can't just focus right. on the negative can i fo- solve a rat for uh, 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 a maze for cheese yeah it's the for cheese motivation that i really yeah if there's no cheese in it i will die in that if there's maze. a triangle of a block of cheese at the end of a maze i'm sure you could eventually you know I get, bet you bet i'll get, solve it yeah. yeah and now i have the perfect knife to stab the cheese with is mm-hmm. this true like kool-aid says that rats have big old nuts they must. That. They're so fertile. There's always like millions of rats. They're talking at 1.5 speed. I know. So I want you guys to like me. And Sorry, we're drinking me. soda. If you didn't <laughs> notice, dude, this is a soda episode. My mistake, dude. I can never dial in the energy precisely. I get low energy. I get too fast. Why don't you guys just collectively one time suck my fucking dick, dude? <laughs> God damn. My big rat nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've yep. never heard the nuts thing on a rat. I haven't either. It would check out though. Yeah. yeah. But it would, would also... see it, right? Because they're so small. No, they're big rats. You would easily so be see able it. to find that out. Yeah. They'd be yeah. dragging them on the ground, dude. You they're they're buttholes almost on the floor. <laughs> they're always dragging pizzas, so I wonder if like we're distracted <laughs> by pizza. the pizzas being dragged. <laughs> Images for rat testicles. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, they got something. What am I looking at? Is that a airbrushed rat? <laughs> did that did that rat die and his boys got that airbrushed Is on a that... rat shirt? <laughs> Face tune on a rat? What is that, dude? <laughs> There's no wrinkles. <laughs> I know it's what a so young smooth. looking rat. What the fuck? <laughs> that, that's actually even more disgusting when you think about the movie Ratatouille. The guy yeah. just had like fucking two nuts rat hanging balls. off the back of his head <laughs> on his fucking bald spot. Well, this is so far. This proves nothing. This question is unanswered. <laughs> yeah, I this is proportional. I like it. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't look that big, right? <laughs> Maybe they're me? internal. I've seen bigger. Maybe they're really big, but they're inside. I don't know. They, they look like they're in a proportion with his feet, so yeah. those are pretty big nuts. Okay. Yeah, that's what they say about guys with big feet. I guess. <laughs> Look at the smile on his face. They have long nuts with a tail sticking out of them. But maybe, you know how, like, apparently I've heard, I've never done the research, that, like, the, most of the clitoris is inside and only a little bit outside? But it's, like, branches out into you. And it's it's like, a, yeah, it's like anyway, a... Maybe it's like that. Do you know like, what I mean? It's, it's like, like a penis with tree roots inside of a It's like a rooted <laughs> penis. From what I've heard. I've heard it's a rooted penis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the only difference between men and women, is that, <laughs> that women have a, a, a very rooted, like an oaken root penis in system inside of their pelvis. Yeah, like an entire root system. Everything else and is all the, the And only this part comes out to deceive you, so yeah. you just can that's miss it. That's the same it. thing with... The, can you miss it? The male breast, most, most of it is internal. Really? Oh, yeah. That's so weird. All right, my nope. trainer seems to clear this up. He says, animals that produce more kin have bigger nuts. That's why gorilla balls are small and rats' balls are big. That, okay. that makes sense. That's why I, I said that, didn't I? I was like, yeah, that's why they're fertile. Or that's why they have more all these babies. They are fertile. So that means rabbits must have huge nuts, too. Mm-hmm. Wait, can, can you look up confirm? who has the biggest balls? <laughs> yeah. Pull up big clit standing. On Rob's phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Google big clit standing. <laughs> <laughs> the inside of a clit. I don't know. <laughs> Our new intern is just losing his mind over here. You are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the for those that have been following the the journey, we we pulled our dear sweet prince Ben out of school, and now he's an intern at the studio. And yeah, Ben. Just, no, what a great first day. <laughs> this is what we do for money, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Puts food on the table. <laughs> is this your first day interning? Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Congratulations. Yeah. How's it going? Are you learning? I'm learning some pretty big bullshit. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chill out, dude. So it is your kid. He learned it by watching you. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I think I it might have been it might have been a better idea if I just fucking learned how to sell drugs and took him to do that. <laughs> Anything <laughs> anything's probably better than this. No, I mean no, I mean I think oh. this is great, but I don't yeah. know. I, I haven't gotten to take a look at it. I basically, I have to Billy Madison now. I have to go back to the seventh grade so that I can follow along with his work and, and teach him at home. But I think I already disagree with the uh, textbook. I don't think that they uh, appreciate how old the pyramids are. And I think I'm going to have to write a letter. <laughs> and I'm probably going to ruin this opportunity for him. He's going to have to go back to prison school. But uh, in you the meantime. You didn't really pull time. your kid out of school, did you? The, the, uh, Friday was his last day in real school. Really? Oh, yeah. Homeschool? Uh, it's kind of like a, a hybrid virtual thing, but oh, yeah, yeah, we got the whole thing set up. We're good to go. It's, it's fucking awesome. It's great. Um, can I ask why you're against traditional school? Well, I'm not necessarily against traditional school. I am. <laughs> uh, we were struggling with the issue that we, uh, are kind of still in the hood and Ben was the only white kid in class, which we're fine with, by the way, <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> However... The other kids in class kind of weren't as cool with it as we were. Got it, got it, I, got I was it. saying got we're it. good. The other kids in class were saying white people are actually gay. Got it. And, Walked around uh, with these knives. You gave him these I mean, knives? I'd be pretty, I, you know, they would shake them down at the door, but uh, yeah. I, no, that's it was just cool. like no support from the school. And he's like, he's the best boy. This is the best boy currently living. And it was just like, we'd have to like plead with the teachers like, yo, you guys, like, so he would get like textbooks stolen out of his desk oh and then get like detention for it. And we'd no, be like, you no. can't punish the kid uh, for the shit anyway. How no, big of a nerd do you have to be to steal a textbook? I know. <laughs> well, if that's, if that's what's nerding nowadays, then goddamn, I think the hood might start inventing shit. <laughs> You never heard of peanut butter? That's what, yeah, that's what happened with peanut butter. <laughs> he just stole enough textbooks. So he's like, wait a minute. The information for peanut butter is already in here. So, so yeah, he's just going to chill with me and see how I do things. And he can decide for himself whether this works for him or not. 
I but so are you getting any like traditional educate schooling anymore or is that done? Yeah, there's like a virtual program. Oh, gotcha. Did. Okay, you said there's still But school. it's like okay, it's like uh, it's it's kind of like I don't know, the schedule is a lot less uh demanding. Like yeah. he has less time of like sitting in like a even like a virtual classroom and then, you know, he's still expected to get some work done and I'm going to make this motherfucker work for sure. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Mike? Chris Mack said, poor Ben must be drooling over the guests today. <laughs> well, literally no, take yeah. it. My, it's I normally dudes that look like me, Ben, so. <laughs> yeah, my supremely <laughs> respectful son would never behave that way. A weird sexual comment that involves a child? We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'm pretty? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <hot>. brand. <laughs> Wait, Larry Does says- Ben know about Crohn's disease, that thing Margola has got? I mean, maybe they'll get to it at virtual school. Open heart surgery was a hood invention? What? That's some kind of racist, violent thing. Is it? I think. Larry, elaborate. Because it please. wasn't. <laughs> no. You have you Crohn's disease? Just... Gross. Yeah, I do. State of mind. Do you still now. have it? Do you ever get rid of that? No, you never get rid of it. No? You just, no, you just, you just, like, if you need medicine, then you handle it. And then. For me, it's like poop herpes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it lies dormant. <laughs> it lies dormant, but if you like fuck me too aggressively, it can like get knocked loose. No, oh, I'm kidding. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wanna try? <laughs> that would be terrible for you. Um, no, it's like yeah, no. I've been sometimes I have to kind of deal with it, but like ninety eight percent of the time I'm totally fine and then the two oh, percent of the time is like in concentrated you know what i mean like i'll be like uh, sometimes it's an issue for me for a little while Do you completely to, like withdraw from society when you're I having a, a, an outbreak i have uh, it's gotta be terrible yeah 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 it happened during the pandemic and it was a huge really? bummer and you would think it would be like ideal you know to like cross you know for that to overlap with the pandemic but it was such a bummer it was so depressing oh. it was so like uh, you know it, both of those things at once i get the result is isolation, no matter how you, you know. Yeah. But to have them both down on you, it's so mentally isolating. I'm like, sure. Is it more than just your butt going haywire? Like, is there a lot of other stuff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's horribly Sparks painful. Sparks flying out of your ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're, it's, it is more than just your asshole going haywire, though. It, that Your asshole's not, like, helping out, you know what I mean? It's not like your asshole's in order. <laughs> and the rest of you, it's like, you know, the asshole part, definitely out of control, not great. But I couldn't eat food because eating food meant that my digestive system would go into do its thing and digest. And that was so painful that I lost a bunch of weight as this person. And that was miserable. I was tired all the time. Oh. Uh, I had no energy. I would go days without eating. Sometimes I had no appetite. It was weird. It was like a real period of illness. You know what sucks, though, is and maybe this is just me because I'm uneducated, but I think most people <laughs> in their brains are just mocking people with Crohn's disease. Anytime it's even brought up, it's just like, oh, wow, you have permanent diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to being a fat man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and you know what? I get it. Fair enough. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm not someone who puts weight on easily because I have a disease. So I get that part that some people Very are brave. like, oh, boohoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good for you. But, you know, and listen, right now I'm not dealing with, you know, knock on wood, not dealing with it at all. So that's that's awesome for me. But In when I am. Yeah. It's not, oh. you know, I, w I wish I were a little chubby and not have to deal with Crohn's sometimes. Can you spot Crohn's fakers? <laughs> um, Crisis actors. Well, here's the thing. You experience Crohn's at home. You're not, like, out in public. If you're experiencing Crohn's, you're not out. Like, I, if I were, like, Crohn'sing, I would have canceled this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking way. Well, I see I'm going to be here, and then, like, first of all, you're miserable. Second like of shit all, you're, jonesing? You're, <laughs> second of all, you're shooting streams of diarrhea. Like, there's just no possible way. I'm sorry if someone just came, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> but you I, and I would be miserable and in pain and ups and tired and it it comes in like these cramping waves and then they knock you out like you're so tired afterwards it's the worst so can I spot a faker as much as I can spot a fake anything else you know what I mean mm. it's not the telltale signs like look you know Mm, that might, butthole's not I quite. Might, <laughs> <laughs> I might start faking Crohn's. I think I could get away with it. Well, you totally can because you just stay home and say, I have Crohn's. And Ooh. who's going to know? Ooh. That's how you fake Crohn's. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. No, I have a relative with Crohn's. I think she had to have surgery. So that means it Is was that really true? bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, surgery doesn't cure it. What surgery it fixes it possibly for a short time. If it's really, really bad and that's the only option, you've exhausted medicine, which is... That's a lot. Also, when the medicine doesn't work for you or whatever, which sucks, then they'll have to surgically remove the part that's affected. It's oh, no. inflammatory. So they'll take out the part that's really inflamed and mm -hmm. fucking you up. But Crohn's never goes away, which means it could just come back. 
Tim, when she was getting operated on, was she face down, ass up? <laughs> <laughs> and was she wide awake and saying things? <laughs> <laughs> Were there cameras? I, I, I'll have to ask, Mike. I don't know. <laughs> What an inappropriate question. I could have been talking about my mother. <laughs> you know I'd be acting up. You do. You got some goddamn soda in you. I haven't had any yet. Yeah. yeah. Dang, dude. I wonder if that's The rest why... of us are wild. Yeah. Do dudes get Crohn's? I've only ever heard of women. Sure, having. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah my ex had Crohn's. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. What the hell? What's going on up there in New York? Anyway, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe Bud he just wanted to stay home. Crohn's band-aids. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You know what's really great is I thought we weren't going to be able to get to a diarrhea segment today. And instantly. Going by Thank the metrics, Karen, th- yeah. th- this is our biggest money maker. You're welcome, anytime guys. diarrhea comes, yeah, dude, God bless you, Karen. You really <laughs> saved the, you really came through for us today. Oh, there's more. I swear to God. How do you get Crohn's? <laughs> Mine developed when I was like 18. Oh, the worst time. I got diagnosed. Yeah, I mean, I guess. It's like kind of, you know, high school stupid. So I missed prom, like, which was sad at the time. And then afterwards, I was like, it was at the. Um, it was at the aquarium. It was at the Camden Aquarium. Uh, get you would have filled the wheel tank. Oh, my God, Karen. <laughs> yeah. We both had diarrhea at the Camden Aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> I would have poisoned the whales. Like, I can't have that. <laughs> the whales didn't want me there. None of the sea creatures did. So, <laughs> oh, damn. yeah, so, like, whatever. How far in advance, like, do you know when you're about to, like, go nuts? Go nuts? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Blast off. (laughs) Okay, well, uh, to be honest, when you are experiencing Crohn's symptoms, you feel shitty all the time. You're always in discomfort and pain. And if, God forbid, you, you know, like, you ate something that disagreed with you, especially, like, I was at a certain point just, like, drinking soup and drinking juice. I was like, I can't handle this. If I eat a solid and and my asshole doesn't like it, I'm fucked. So you would feel... (laughs) It's it's the worst feeling because <laughs> it is the feeling of like a tidal wave of diarrhea coming on. <laughs> but that feeling is so yeah. horrifically painful. It is so brutally painful. I'd be like curled up on the bathroom floor, like just web, yeah. just, comp- just diarrhea out of me already. It's I think awful. I had diarrhea when I was a kid. I mean, Crohn's as a kid. <laughs> I can remember having like torture. Then you still have it. Yeah. Oh, Do you think maybe like the Crohn's might not act up as much if you just gave like your asshole a little bite? <laughs> Where you ate the whole thing? Like you bite it, or you no, you like a, oh, like a morsel? Yeah, <laughs> like when you're feeding your wife a, mu- a marshmallow or something. Like how Rod Stewart used to do cocaine. Yeah, <laughs> you give a little nip in his own butt. Yeah. That's not the worst way to do cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I think. No. I've heard. I'm sure putting it under your li- eyelids before you go into a store is probably <laughs> yeah. much worse oh than what I heard from my rat friends. <laughs> oh my god! Oh man. Let's check it with Ben. You still doing okay over there? Is this stuff making sense to you? No. <laughs> rigid. Got me rigid. You're welcome, boys. Oh, my God. All that doo-doo talk. I know. Yeah, God, Crohn's back. Yeah, no, I'm so lucky. I'm really lucky that I, like, got on a different medication. It worked for me, and now I'm fine. Yeah, no, I'm but glad that's over for you. That does yeah. sound like hell. It was awful. But it was you're also lonely. the experience you're describing, though, is also my experience of eating a half a box of cereal before <laughs> bed every night for 20 years. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So I, I every, every day at 930 at every job I've ever had, I thought I had Crohn's disease. Just based on what you're saying right <laughs> yeah. now. I'd yeah. be in hell and then I'd be tired for the rest of the day. Takes everything out of you. It really. I mean, literally. <laughs> you're dry as a hug. I was, I was doing a yeah. Lucky Charms plan. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? I read the Lucky Charms are the most diarrhea cereal. They're really? so bad for you. I, yeah. I only have anecdotal <laughs> evidence, but I would say 100% factual. I would think fiber nuts. No? No, that's that's healthy movement. That's healthy movement. That's healthy movement. Lucky Charms will like destroy its poison. Yeah, Lucky, Char- Lucky Charms turns you into a super oh. soaker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a pooper soaker? <laughs> what the hell, Mike? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, actually, though. <laughs> All right, cool. And I didn't know that. And I was like being like doing self care and being nice to myself. So I was like, you can have whatever you want. Like I deserve soft this. foods. Yeah, I deserve this. Like soups, juices, like whatever. Spend cereal the money. marshmallows. Cereal mm-hmm. marshmallows. And I didn't know that I was actually stuffing myself full of like jets, like jet streams of diarrhea <laughs> waiting to happen. It's diarrhea and, fuel. Like, yeah, it's diarrhea <laughs> fuel. It's jet fuel for diarrhea. It is. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. Don't treat your Crohn's with Lucky Charms. <laughs> not lucky. It's not lucky. Good. <laughs> it's so unlucky. Oh my god. Lucky shorts. That's that's awesome. That's awesome stuff. <laughs> Jeez Louise. You've got an active ass chat going on. Yeah, they're the fucking. Yeah, they best. like to have a good time too. They're they pretty fucking cool. They are lively. 
Yeah, we actually used to have a, an issue. We've had to get rid of a lot of people because they used to just go nuts. Anytime there was a lady on the screen, they really? would just yeah, they would turn into cartoon wolves and just start to like, <laughs> homina, 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 and really just spaz out. And I think people have really chilled out. And we can maybe it's just us. Truly have a know. good time now. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, maybe it is you guys. I think you've you definitely you are retard whispering when you talk about Crohn's and diarrhea. <laughs> You are telling him it's going to be okay. I can't tell which bitch is talking. <laughs> Have you treated yourself to a nice toilet? So I live in a place with a nice toilet. I happen to live in such a Crohn's-friendly apartment. We there's this bidet that's like, but it's like an it's like an engineered toilet. It's like more than a bidet, and the toilet has a sensor. It knows when you're around, and it, when I walk past the bathroom, it goes <laughs> like it, it, it goes get it, your ass in here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it knows that I'm there and the seat is Well, that's is a little heated. aggressive. Turn it down. Yeah. Oh, hey, Karen. How was your day? You feeling all right? Uh, yeah. Listen, I uh, poured you some Lucky Charms. <laughs> yeah, it knows that I'm around. It likes me. It self-cleans. It, it blow dries your asshole after you're done. The water is really warm. You can set it to blow dry and just read a book. Mm. And the, let whole, your... <laughs> the whole time you're shitting, the toilet's going nom, 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 nom. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell it misses me sometimes. It burps when you're done. <laughs> I knew it. it was happy for me when I got well, but I could tell that it was also a little bit sad. Uh, <laughs> misses you. Yeah, it's like when your boy gets a girlfriend. It's like, hey, guess what? Hang out as much. <laughs> I'm happy for you, I guess. <laughs> wow. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you can't beat a top notch toilet. Mm. I used a bidet That's for the so first good. time like six months ago. And uh, I've thought about it every day since. Yeah. I installed one. It's life changing. It is life changing. Yeah. I actually experienced one in the homeland, Japan, in 2006. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mary Jo and I went on a uh, vacation and, and we we both experienced a bidet. And it was just like, that's why they're different people. That's the real difference. Everything, you know how you look at Japanese people and you go, okay, that's kind of like aliens living on Earth. Yeah. <laughs> you know that feeling? Yeah. It all comes down to the bidet. Mm -hmm. And they yeah. now I think a lot of people have them now. We got to get on the next asshole technology to get a, get ahead of them. We should try to get a bidet sponsor. Ooh. Oh, Hello Tushy, right? Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, Tushy I think so. Is, Tushy's the thing. But Make Tushy, a note, yeah. don't cheap out because my ex had a bidet and I already had the great bidet, like this amazing toilet. So it was like, if I hadn't, I'd probably been impressed with this. But he was, he had cheaped out. Oh my God. I don't know why. He had so much money. So this was like gross and annoying. He cheaped out and got the just cold water one. Oh, no. Which is like kind of okay in the summer because it's just kind of cool and refreshing. But in the winter, yeah, come it in is from playing stick ball, get a little squirt. Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Wake <winter> up. <laughs> Yeah. Don't First use that in the middle of the night. Day. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going back to sleep. Damn. I mean, that's also, that also could, you, I mean, fair point, but let's just chalk that up to, you know, women fucking constantly just bitching about how bros want to live. <laughs> yeah. Get a Do bed frame. I want warm water for my oh. butt. <laughs> <laughs> Get off his fucking back, Karen. <laughs> God Let damn. <laughs> yeah, it was just, I was like, you really, and I, I would just dread, because once you go bidet, you never go back day. Like, there's no <laughs> going back. <laughs> and so I'm not going to poop and not use it, even when it's cold. I know it's sure. coming, though. Oh, for sure. I know it's coming. My little asshole would clench up just waiting for the cold stream of water to hit it. You <laughs> just scream as, it is, as it's about to hit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, your butt turns into that black and white photo of the guy about to get shot in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Our butt, Dwyer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Is it acknowledged? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, can I show you guys? Is, would now be a good time to show you guys <laughs> my, my favorite thing that I uh, had advertised to me on Facebook? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Danny, can you can you pull up the link that I sent you? I don't know how this made it into. I don't really use Facebook at all anymore. Uh, this this showed up in my Facebook ads, and uh, it auto played a commercial, and it's called Strength of seduction and it's a workout program for, uh. for black couples <laughs> danny i'm not sure that commercial that might be the commercial uh -huh. that's the hot holiday bundle i don't know if this is what i saw but i'm pretty sure i'm, I'm <laughs> certain are we still saying bay is it no are they i don't think we are i don't think anybody is well i, I know white people aren't allowed to <laughs> there we go this is this is it's so yeah it's is <laughs> <laughs> yeah you need the audio look at that this is a workout <laughs> so white people can't do that? That's appropriation. I don't. Or what? I I bet there's people that agree with that, but I don't. I intend to get fully ripped on this. 
So, you know, a lot of it looks harmless. Oh, yeah. Geez. Oh, cute. <laughs> Have you never been that couple in the park? Oh, my God. This couple in the park? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you've never done that in Maybe. the park? Maybe. Maybe at the beach. <laughs> I'm not doing this at the fucking park. Yeah, I like that they're in a well, CrossFit gym to do it. It's different, I guess, in Philly. Maybe you wouldn't do this in a Philly park. Damn, she needs this. Ben, is this rule? <laughs> what if you walked into the living room and saw your mother and I doing this to get oh, no. to get in shape? <laughs> I'd kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Yeah. Look how long this video is. I used to work out at City Fitness in Philly, and this is how the personal trainers acted with every girl, yeah. by the way. Tim, I'm so, so sorry. Yeah. How, did, how did he pass away? Dude. Black workout video. This is also how they check your asshole when you have Crohn's. <laughs> <laughs> they stand behind you and flex you. Yeah, please put on this full body, arm, uh, body armor suit. Crawl to me, babe. That's five calories. <laughs> so, I don't know. Let me hoist you by the pelvis. I might just try level three to start out with but i'm afraid that i'll, I'll be kind of go like, hard yeah. and you have you can't do it alone you have to do it with your woman and you have to be black i'll do it with you <laughs> yeah. you're gonna do it with me? i'll do it with you <clears throat> you what guys does this cost uh good question danny can we get some pricing maybe we could actually tell them that we're influencers and that they should just send us the program and then we'll do it on patreon we'll do the entire yeah. motherfucking this doesn't get a youtube strike well no there's no nudity or anything just black excellence <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry Black, black magic. Excellence. Black magic. <laughs> black magic. <laughs> Is black excellence illegal? <laughs> it's 70 bucks for the bundle oh, That's not bad What do you get in the Bro? bundle? Yeah, what all three programs That's very cheap That's pretty good What does that mean though? Is that like the different levels Or is it just different? Yeah, you know I mean? it's separated by level one, two, and three. Gotcha. Le they get darker the higher the level you go. <laughs> now, I wanna, yeah, level three, you're you're putting your Timberland on her head. <laughs> <laughs> For the most expensive one, they actually send you Timberlands. <laughs> yeah, so would you be interested in checking this out, Mike? Yeah, let's do it. Are you guys both married? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, are you guys yeah. both dads? Yeah. Yep. You are? How yeah, we uh I started cranking out kids at 23. How old were you? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Uh, Lucy was born when I was 22. Oh, wow. my God, you How guys. How many do you have, Mike? Three. You have three? <gasps> yeah. What, boy, girl, girl? Uh, my first two are girls. My last one's a boy. Oh, nice. Are you so. still with their mother? Yeah. Yes, yeah, still going strong. Good for you. Yeah, we're still doing black workout videos. Holy together. shit. <laughs> Is that That's what keeps why? you together? That's what keeps you fertile. <laughs> yeah. Together. Would you yeah. guys have any more? No, definitely done. Like, now it's, like, the point where, like, we're glad that we started young, where at the time it was just like, Jesus Christ, this is never going to fucking end. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but then now it's like, all right, we can breathe a little bit. And well, how old's your oldest? 19. Oh, oh my God. 19-year-old? Yeah. Yeah. How old are you? Doesn't he look great? 44. You look like you're 19. <gasps> 44. See, there you go. That's how to do it. Be Aww. young when they're grown, and then yeah. say, see you later, and live your life. Mm. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, you push them out of the nest. Let yeah. them fly or flop. Mm. Yeah. And for the most part, they'll be happy because you were youthful and you're raising them. Right. Well, yeah. Some, yeah. some of them are going to push their youth. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great, perfect time to mention Mike's new book, yeah. On Perks. <laughs> <laughs> on Perks fan. is a, uh, a a chronicling of Mike's Percocet addiction told in real time via f banal Facebook updates. Um, how many how many how many pages is it? Uh, I think it's like 200. 200 pages Aww. of Mike's, uh, I mean, just close to it. Desperate chronicling of the <laughs> minutia of a pill head sitting in his record room. It's the opposite of Crohn's. You must have been all constipated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was one point, like very early on, where I had to pull poop out of my butt. I've heard. So constipated. It was I've heard. I have a friend who he was so in love with a girl who had a terrible heroin addiction, and he loved her so much, and she was in such agony not being able to poop that he reached in and pulled poop out of her. Aww. They well, broke up, yeah. Oh. He didn't really like doing that. Well, our, friend, our friend Gerben had to do that for his grandfather, Ooh. who I'm assuming he also loved very much. And hopefully. thought was hot. Yeah, hopefully yeah, yeah. His hopefully it was, was hot. So hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if his dad, his grandfather like put both hands on the wall and like arched his yeah. back for him. <laughs> have, have any of you guys ever had to take care of an old loved one? No, no, never. I mean, I'm sure it's coming for no. all of us, but it's, yeah. It could be fucking worse. It's oh. 10 times worse than you think it could be. Really? Yeah. Were you taking care of? Because no, I didn't take care of it. My grandfather came to live with us when our grandmom died. And uh, at first, we shared bunk beds in my bedroom. And then when he couldn't make it up and downstairs, he set up shop in the living room. So my mom put a commode in the living room. Oh. So we would be like watching Wheel of Fortune. What's a commode? It's like a portable toilet. Okay. Oh. With no bidet. Yeah, Ooh. there's nothing. <laughs> 
torture. Say less. It's like shitting in the woods. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he would just get up in the middle of whatever we were watching and take a shit in the living room. In the living room. Yeah. Oh, what? It's yeah. like watching like a cat get old. You're just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I love you, but you're awful. <laughs> we did have him shot. So. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot like having a sick cat. How did he feel about doing his business in the living room? I uh, didn't have many reservations because he wouldn't announce it. <laughs> he would just get up, unbuckle his shit, take his pants down, and go right there. Maybe you get to an age when you just don't fucking care. Yeah. That's I what think I'm that's what happened. Yeah. Or was it just he came from a time where it was just like you pooped where you pooped? <laughs> no way. I'd rather was the there hole. such a time? <laughs> <laughs> I, that's what hole. I'm wondering. Was there <laughs> such a paradise ever? <laughs> Asking that. I don't know. At least say something funny. Like at least be like, I know you're gonna dig this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd rather <laughs> die on the stairs than do what he did. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather someone put me out of my misery than poop in front of my entire family <laughs> <laughs> in the living room. With no bidet. With no bidet. Oh, the hell? That's I'm a good question. Cry. Was he ever in prison? No, he was a cop, though. Mm. I don't know. I don't and know how was... to put that into context here. <laughs> well, I mean, because prison guys have to poop in front of each other, right? Facts. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Did, he, was, did he ever get handsy in the shower like with you? Prison no. rules. <laughs> Wait, is that my ex? My ex was in prison. <laughs> For what? Um, he had three DUIs and he resisted arrest. And um, <laughs> yeah, he ran from the cops and his dad had to tackle him and then he went to prison for a year. You have to pick a lane. You can't have DUIs and resist arrest. Yeah, so. I but, disagree. But I think that's a natural back, course. Yeah, but back to back <laughs> champ. I mean, really, you know, three time yeah. champ escaping the police and surviving. So. There oh you go. man. I, Were I, you with him when he got all three of them? No, it was after. I, I read the article. Oh, so no. that's his credit. Oh, that's exciting for you though. Yeah. Were you pumped on it? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, that's yeah. What you get, you fucking dickhead. Hell yeah. Yeah. Don't ever break up with me again, you know. That's... Yeah. Now who needs to lose four pounds? <laughs> Suck my fucking dick. But then Kevin. we hooked up when he got back from prison, we hooked up and then he, he got in trouble again. So yeah, that's how bad the sex was. Damn. He'd rather be in prison. Oh no. <laughs> you sent him back. Yeah. He was a repeat offender. Yeah. Now did he have a little bit of steam on him coming out of prison like that? Or yeah, he oh. punched walls and all the <laughs> oh, man. you know, greatest that means, hits. That means you know. he definitely got picked on. Oh yeah. <laughs> they should have taken him out and put him in virtual prison. Right, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real Just prison. Just good. Yeah, less demanding. <laughs> no. Um, Better sex. Did you send him anything while he was locked up? No. No. You, I mean, you can visit, but, mm -hmm. you know. They don't deserve that. But they don't, yeah. <laughs> um, but he got really good at art. He would draw art for the, the inmates. Oh. So and he's you know even after he got out he would draw like art. What kind of art? Well, like, <laughs> the first thing I thought of was like the wiggers in my sixth grade class that were writing girls' name in bubble letters, and the girls were like, "Damn, yeah, yeah. No, that's he, what's up." He said that you he think survived. Like so he easy. said he would. He said he survived prison because he would draw art for the inmates. Like he he wasn't like. He wasn't a part of like any gang. He, they just. I think they were rubbing their dicks on his face while he drew. <laughs> yeah. That was code for I drew pictures yeah, for them. For yeah. Don't me pop a smirk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ahead at artwork now. <laughs> Put Gargamel's ass up in the air. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I have to figure out. So a trial started this week in Media, Pennsylvania, and I have to figure out. Do you, you, know, you guys know this? Can you what? just attend like a murder trial? I think so. I think so. Yeah. It's public. You could just yeah. go. Yeah. The What's today's has date? A, the public has a right to be there. Twenty right? fourth, I think. Today's the twenty fourth. Oh, okay. So yesterday was the first day of my best friend from senior year of high school uh, murdering his baby mama. <gasps> what? Yeah. What did she do to deserve it? Great question. <laughs> you better listen. Yeah. Well, was I, she getting fresh with him? I would. I would never. <laughs> you sound like you should be defending him. Yeah. Like, really. yeah. I, I would never. I would never speak ill of the dead. I would only offer that maybe this illustrates some ways that the family court system can kind of frustrate single fathers. Mm. That's that's as far as I'll go. However, okay. The what what ha happened was they were supposed <laughs> to be doing a custody exchange in a Wawa. Mm. Classic. That's that's <laughs> very so silly. silly. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the DMZ for uh, custody exchanges. And Damn, they were handing off a shorty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. And instead of bringing a child, he Woo. brought an AR-15. Uh, <gasps> and he walked into Wawa, and it's all on video, apparently. Oh, my and God. And shot her and got in his car and, and drove off into the night. Where was the kid? Uh, with his parents. Okay. I think allegedly. Well, that's kind of responsible. Yeah. yeah, he didn't bring the kid, which makes me think that, like, oh, well, 
I'm not saying it's ever okay to kill your baby mama, but like, <laughs> he might have, I don't know, had man. some points. Maybe he had some grievances. Maybe this is like Russia, Ukraine, where it's like, okay, don't do that, but this yeah. seems like a pretty complicated setup. <laughs> There's nuance, yeah. Before I start sending them, you know what I mean? Before you start doing charity shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sending money. Maybe do some research. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's so, so fucked up and sad. It's so crazy. This yeah. is a guy that I spent like a ton of time with. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't, there's, and uh, he like stopped hanging out with me to like get serious with his lady. And then he had a kid and, God. Or, or no, I had kids first, actually. I was like, yeah, well, fuck you, dude. I'm actually going to have a family. And then he, I, it went so badly that this is how it ended up. And now it's like, I don't know. Do I watch it online? Do I, do I go in person? <laughs> stream I it. Or do, I yeah, stream, like, do I have my friends over while we stream? stream? Do I subscribe yeah. to the Patreon? I, just, yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> At the very least, you can go and get all the documents related to the trial. Yeah, but I don't feel like reading stuff. <laughs> you should go. Put me. I that yeah, was. I bet uh, it would mean a lot to him. To I see want you there to. Too. Do well, that's the other thing. So I, the guy that I knew, couldn't do this. Yeah. So I don't know if he'd even like. Yeah. I would that. Per, would there even be a person in his eyes if yeah. I were to encounter him? But Just where whole sign says, "Hey, it's me, Tim." <laughs> <laughs> Remember me? Remember me? <laughs> if, you, if you could mouth one thing to him when you lock eyes in court, mouth what would you mouth to him? <laughs> oh man. Uh, I don't have anything to help him with, dude. Well, pretend it's me. Like, I've killed my <laughs> wife. Look me in the eyes. I would say, remember when you fucked up Senora Castellon's desk in Spanish class? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did he do to the desk? Uh, Shot it with an AR-15? Uh, oh, no, sorry. It wasn't Senora Castellon. We had Miss Reichert, who was like a white lady who, who did like Peggy Hill Spanish oh, class, where she was like, May, me llamo Mrs. Reichert. Me gusta. Like, that was how she taught Spanish. And everyone fucked with her. Because we it was like, we had a like probably 30% Latino mm -hmm. population in the school. So they were just like, yeah, fuck. Santa like, Maria. Yeah, they were just <laughs> click clacking long nails and bracelets at it. Like, I'm not gonna listen to this fucking dumb old white bitch. And one day after class, uh, I should also add that for some reason we got uh, our Spanish class was split off away from all, where all of our rest of our classes took place, and this was down around a like a maze of halls in by the special education wing. Uh, so we had to go down to where they like had kids who like were just basically a head in a jar <laughs> on a. On an alphabet rug, <laughs> and that was where I had to learn Spanish from a lady who I'm, I'm suspicious of not even knowing the language. Mm -hmm. And so we, we might have gotten roped into special ed without knowing. And it was just like bad kids, like just like smoking cigarettes. And anyway, at the end of class one day, she walked out of the room before we did because she had to go to a meeting. And before we all filtered out of the classroom, he turned around and he dove across the top of her desk and knocked all of her shit off oh and God. just left it like that. And and like it was like, a sign. She spiraled out after that. Yeah. She, that was the last year she ever taught there. She spiraled. When, when she gave him a detention, would it be fair to say she sent him to Rikert's Island? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. If <laughs> gun to my head, yeah, I guess I would say that. Right. AR to your head, no one. Hey, hey, God damn it, no. <laughs> Tim, I got news for you. What's that mean? What is oh, it? I'm oh, retarded. he's in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, he's there. Listen, I only have is. five minutes left on my YouTube call. <laughs> <laughs> Collect comment coming from Media <laughs> County Courthouse. <laughs> Tim, it's Brian. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now seems like a great time to thank our sponsors. <laughs> this episode of Dad Meat is presented to you by Manscaped. If you go to manscaped.com, use promo code FATBIRD, you get a nice discount on all their shit that they're selling. And uh, Tim, I would be lying to you if I told you that right now my bird was in tip-top shape. Does what, bird was, just mean everything? In, no, I just no. use it for my meat. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, that is very bird. The bird, Dad yeah, bird. bird balls an asshole. Uh... Not looking as good as I normally like to have them. No. No. You're I, in disarray? I am, man. I've, I've been in a tailspin the last week and a half. Oh, disgusting. So I'm going to fix that, though. I'm not, you think I'm working out with you in that shape? I'm going to fix it, all right? All right, okay, okay. All right, uh, Danny, you mind inspecting things before we do our black sex workout? Of course. <laughs> right, but yeah, I'm going to take care of it with Manscaped products. And if you go to manscaped.com, promo code FATBIRD, you can too. All kinds of cool shit to shave your shit up, make it smell nice, make it look good. Also, uh, if you're struggling with anything right now or just want to talk to the therapist, you can go to BetterHelp.com. Use promo code FATBIRD as well. They'll give you a nice discount. Uh, I, I utilize BetterHelp over the summer. It was instrumental in helping me turn my shit around, and I can't recommend it enough. They make it easy to get with a, with a fucking counselor, advisor, what do, what do they call them, therapist? 
Mm. That sounds right. <laughs> yeah. So they make it easy to. <laughs> I might just be calling a guy that I, that I may, may yeah. be saying that he's a mental health professional. Yeah, if you want to use better help, let me uh, get you the number. The guy, I just text him every once in a while. I used to buy pills from him. My guy was great. But yeah, go to betterhelp.com, promo code FATBIRD. You could do your shit over the phone. You could do a video uh, teleconferencing. You're a great case study. Look at you prospering right now. I know, man. Oh. You saw how down in the dumps I was over the summer. I called Tim happened? freaking out in the fucking parking lot. Why? Just I, my brain felt like it was broken. Accumulation. Yeah. Is it a Percocet problem or a long time ago? Oh, okay. That was Perks. Now it's just fucked up, retard brain. Okay. So, but Fair. things are good now, thanks to a lot of different factors. And but BetterHelp was one of them. It really helped get me through Aww. a dark period. Also, uh, you might be inclined to check out BlueChew.com. <laughs> Promo code Fat Per. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, yeah. Tim. You know. What I'm yeah. About. <laughs> you guys Blue Chew? Is that part of the dead meat culture? <laughs> uh, a little bit. Is it? We're, we're, we're designing a regimen. Does it work? This is it a does, regimen. Yes. I've yeah. heard mixed reviews. It it works. Every time that I've taken it, it's done exactly what it's supposed to do. Just My ears feel like they're up. fucking glowing though, oh. because <laughs> your blood pressure is going to skyrocket, oh, which it. I doubt is what they. I doubt they want me to say that right now. <laughs> but your dick will get hard. <laughs> your pee-pee will get hard. So I can't vouch for it enough, and that's all I ca- care about. If I died from a fucking boner pill, I would be okay with it. And if you would be too, I recommend going to BlueChew.com using promo code FATBIRD. Better than taking a shit in the living room. <laughs> that's BlueChew.com, promo code FATBIRD. That's for sure. <laughs> and also, uh, fucking check out uh, True Classic. Go to TrueClassic.com, promo code FATBIRD. They got a ton of great clothes there. Uh, I'm wearing a True Classic t-shirt under this right now, and it fits my body like a damn glove. Yeah, so all you fat chimps out there who (laughs) struggle to find clothes that fit, and you get self-conscious about it, and you end up making unfortunate fashion choices, True Classic. I'll bet y'all can't tell from watching this, but I am wearing an adult-sized onesie. (laughs) That's trueclassic.com, promo code FATBIRD. Great job, Mike. Thanks, buddy. You really did it. I love you. I love you, too. Hmm. What were we in the middle of talking about before the advertisers uh, stormed in? Murder. Killing people at Wawa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Murder. Cold-blooded murder. Yeah. Your friend from high talking school. Talking Spanish. Ban- fucking I, up with Spanish yeah. dust. I'm retarded. These people want us to take a blue chew. They want us to take a blue yeah, chew. Yeah, like, what would happen if Karen and Amanda took a blue chew? I don't know. Don't Pro- need it. I can get my own boner. Yeah. yeah. All, <laughs> watch you know, out, man, because it's all inside. It's all internal. Yeah, ladies. internal boner. You don't boner. know what's going to happen. Yeah. Jump-starting periods. You're, you're, you're. No, thank you. Why your no, pelvis is going to look like when ghosts are trying to get through wallpaper. It's just going to be dicks trying to get out yeah. of your body. Yeah, no. That is interesting. Oh, if women it can't be good take for a, vi- a, a, a boner, a boner pill. pill. I've heard that it has an effect. I've I, heard. I've heard that too. We can get horny. I, yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't do anything for horniness. It's, it's purely physiological. But I, I do think that I've, I've heard, but I've also not researched it myself. <laughs> what I wanted to ask you guys, yeah. and because I've been hearing, uh, or at least seeing on Twitter lately. Uh, women are sick to death of the guys who keep DMing them with no response. What so do you mean? it'll be like two years of unresponded DMs from guys who are either strangers or acquaintances, just like, "Hey, how are you? Hey, oh yeah. Hey, how are you? I've got some regulars. Yeah, you've got some regulars. <laughs> oh, Karen. Yeah. Karen, do you? Sure. You both have regulars. Oh, I'll yeah. do. Here's the thing. I'm really like. If someone DMs me to like be nice, if mm-hmm. someone were like, you know, DM me about like this podcast or whatever, I would say thank you. Like I'm sure. not, I'm not like, ugh, ugh. Like I'm not a bitch who thinks everybody's rude. Just there is DMing a distinction me. for sure. Yeah, but there's some people who it's always uncomfortable, and it's not enough for me to be like, hey, come on, you know, don't make me block you. This is really making me uncomfortable. But it is just not comfortable and can't be encouraged. Right. Mm-hmm. You know. That's why you don't answer because if you, so you start, you get the ball rolling. Even and you're if you say them. like, hey, knock it off, they go, ooh, a response. Yeah. Right. Yes. Sometimes they're just like, hey, hey, what's up? Hey, hey. It's like, yes. Yeah. There's a lot of haze. There's yeah. repeated haze. Yeah. You you can't you cannot just say hey. Right. But a woman that you don't know, she hates it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or any or anyone not, you don't know. What am I, mean, I supposed you can't to say? say? Anything. Yeah. That that's a you up of DMs. Yeah, I'm not yeah. answering that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now I think I I think the reason that this came up recently is because I think a lady might have been killed by one of those guys. <gasps> well, the Idaho guy. The what? Idaho no. guy. Yeah, yeah. he was at least that. one of the victims. Like <gasps> he had sent like just a ton of messages saying, "Hey, hey, hey, Shit. hey, how are you? Hey, hey." But it's hey. not a ton at once. It's like you know every three every nights. Three, yeah. It's like, hey, what's hey, how are hey, how are you? It's almost it's like, like not threatening. It's just you hey. would almost think it was like a Psychotic genuine. Though. Yeah. Yeah. But it is threatening, and that's why you don't answer. Because when it is weird and threatening, but low they key, didn't answer, and it was threatening. 
Wait, they did answer. They didn't answer. No, it's kind of like a no, damn no, if you do, damn if you don't. don't. That's, That's right. what I'm saying. Exactly. It yeah. is threatening, yeah. and so you know, if you respond, that makes it worse because any engagement is going to be seen right. is like. And they didn't, so that was wor- that was bad too. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So is this something that's, that's so bad? And there's scary. like a there's like a catch twenty two. Can this... I keep this knife? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. For my DM. I, yeah, that'll be your profile <laughs> pic. Is this yeah. my DMing knife? <laughs> <laughs> Is that something that occupies any part of your brain, like, day to day? Or is it just, like, uh, no. you get a notification and you go, God damn it. Not no, at all. No, well, now it is. I don't know. I didn't know that's part of the I didn't story. Mean to scare you As guys. of this conversation, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, I was scared. Like, scared. That. It lives in my he head. he was, right? like, saying, hey, 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 and not being responded to. It seems like he met two of the victims at the restaurant where they oh, were servers he he and them. found out their names and I think, started yeah, hitting I think them up on Instagram. This is big for, like, coworkers yeah. and, like... Maybe uh, a guy that you like you encounter in your day regularly, but you have no actual reason to communicate with, like a guy that you see at the coffee shop. You're like, hey, sorry, yeah. this is weird. I found you. Hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? But in hey, social hey. media, well, I not in social media's defense, but like one thing that they should have in place is like when you don't answer, for instance, like on Instagram, if you don't answer. 10 unanswered messages, it says nine plus. Like when you hit like five in a row, Instagram should send something like. You sure you want to do this? Because mm-hmm. your first five didn't get fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, yeah. To be fair, also, it's not always so black and white. Like, there will be people who will send, like, weird haze and, like, things that don't warrant a response or I know mm-hmm. I can't respond because whatever, but they're harmless. They seem harmless. And then there will be, like, something really nice. Like, you know, be like, I saw you on this podcast and I thought you were really good. And I go, mm-hmm. thank you. Yeah. But, and then and then back to, hey. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's like, I did, well, I guess I'll it's different if you've met them. Like, if you've met the guy and he knows you where you are and those where you live that seems more scary. Scary. scary versus like a rando who listens to a podcast you know mm-hmm. i talk so. to a lot of strange guys on the internet and it's mostly <laughs> pretty cool i would say i probably have an upside down ratio yeah, where like yeah, yeah. i i mostly respond to bros whenever i have the time but every once in a while there will be a guy that's like yo what's up bro check out your shit it's cool and i go yeah thanks dude that's what's up and then like maybe they'll have a, something specific they want to mention and i, I can continue a conversation but I have had like one or two where a guy has like flipped on me Hi. and like he started like uh, like commenting like weird, like mm-hmm. weird, almost threatening shit on like Instagram posts. And then like oh, there was a guy that I, like <laughs> was nice to me. And then he like openly mocked Mike for uh, posting a picture of his like master's what? degree. Open the uh, mock Mike. We yeah. mock Mike in secret. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's the proper way to do it. Like he started leaving like obsessive comments. Like he would go through all of Mike's shit and call him like gay and shit uh, like that. And I was just so like, much whoa! Effort. I yeah. fucking talk to this guy. Yeah. So that's spooky. But goddamn, it's always I mean, I block people. It's always especially spooky when somebody shit talks you on an old post. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, dude, you went out of your way. Yeah. Joke's on you. <laughs> yeah. Look at one vagina ever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just look at That's it. That's when you touch grass. <laughs> touch ass, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get some exposure to that. Yeah. I don't post pictures of my kids anymore on Instagram because oh. the last time, like, I posted a picture of, like, me and my daughters at a Harry Styles concert. And, Aww. like, I had to block four guys. Like, <laughs> because it was just, like, insane comments that that picture definitely did not warrant. Yeah. And I was it's, like, it's I don't feel like doing this anymore. Wanting to get your attention and wanting to be funny. I don't know, Karen, because, like, it's some two, at least two of these guys, they have families of their own. Oh, shit. So it's just, like, if you want to relate to me, like, just say, like, hey, things. yeah, like, I'm going through this, too. It's like, yeah, yeah and I'd be happy to talk yeah. with you. Were they commenting on your daughter? Or they comment- yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Oof. But it's like, dude, they're, they're, they're kids. Such an obvious line. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Gross, I don't know, yeah. I mean, look, when people need to be blocked, they need to be blocked. And it's usually pretty clear, you know, yeah. some people are block happy, you know, like trigger happy with that. And I think that's really mean because strangers will if you're doing anything publicly, someone's going to be like, hey, I think you're good. Like there's always the I'm, I can't name names because it's crazy, but there's always a female comic somewhere who gets a compliment and freaks out on the person. And then screenshots and, and then puts screenshots. it on their story. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, oh my I'm God, woman. guys are my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, wow. Yeah. yeah, well, they're trying to just garner further attention yeah. off of that. That's kind of a psychosis of its own. Right. Yeah. Just deal with it. Block them if it's such a big deal, you know? So what do we do with these guys? Because I think there, there's the going to be more and more of them. Yeah, what do we do with the hey, how are you? Because there's going <laughs> to be more and more of them. Why and do you I- think there's going to be more? Um, copycat? Because I think people are, are getting worse. Not copycat. I think that this is a type of guy who's getting uh, zero, like, attention reciprocation from women. And I think that there's only so much of that that a dude can experience before he starts to get kind of warped. And I th- I 
think that we all kind of have to worry about it because these dudes are going to start acting out more and more. What if like Instagram after like your fifth hey redirected you to like <laughs> a, a bot girlfriend? Yeah. 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 Like, a fleshlight. <laughs> 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 like it just in, it just redirected you to like a virtual lady to talk mm -hmm. to. Ooh, oh, that's what we should be that's using yeah. uh, chatbots for. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Smart. Can you design a girlfriend for me that talks to me all the time and responds when I say, hey, how are you? And it's, sure, oh. I can do that. Here you go. You're my so cool. Boy. All those haze. Who am I talking to? <laughs> Gary Glitter? <laughs> <laughs> my ex um, was like sponsoring a child or no, he's big brothering a child. Cool. You know, in New York. It's not a comic. Um, it's my son, Liquid Death. <laughs> 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 he was big brothering and he, uh, so the kid was like an old. Older kid. Oh no. He was almost a man. No. He was oh my 17. god. So and my husband was like wanted to, you know, ha he wanted to do good, I guess, but also wanted to, people to see him that he was doing something good and regretted it like right away because this kid was a handful and he was like almost an adult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, shut up, dad. Yeah. <laughs> You're not my real big brother. <laughs> and he was like difficult and had like a demanding family and then, <laughs> and then what the hell? The kid came to him and he goes, he was like, what do I tell this girl? And he goes, what girl? And he shows him all these Facebook messages and the girl's like, how do you like your dick suck? It's like obviously a bot or like yeah. a scammer. Uh, and he's like, this girl's really into me. And he shows and he goes, I don't know what to tell him. I go, tell him no woman talks like that. Yeah. <laughs> Women do not speak that way. And he has Just, to be like, he goes, he goes, my man, <laughs> this is a scam. He goes, girls, girls never talk that way. They will never offer to suck your dick sight unseen. They never ask for your credit They're card number. They're not into you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this isn't a thing. <laughs> but yeah, it was, he was so happy. That bot made him so happy. I mean, Aww. for 17-year-olds, for that's like a Vietnamese spike trap under the grass. <laughs> yeah. Like, they don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's terror. Absolute terror. He goes, how do I not fuck this up? Oh, with the bot? How do, I, uh, how do I seal the deal? With the sex bot? With, yeah, with this Nigerian guy that downloaded a woman's picture. <laughs> now, Karen, how did he break off that re relationship with the little brother? Oh, I thought you meant with me. Um, not, <laughs> not well. Um, <laughs> buckle up. He uh, moved to London. To uh, get away from both of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little brother and Karen. Yes. To get away, yeah, and, the, and the sex bot. He moved back to Europe. Yeah, <laughs> you're both at the bus station watching his bus to Europe take off. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it was you can't just sever that relationship. You know, it's like contractual, and like you agreed to meet with the kid a certain number of times. Oh, that's a month, horrific. And it's it was became very burdensome for him. Mm. He thought he was gonna get like a cute little kid. Oh no. And he didn't. He got like a masturbator. <laughs> yeah. You get Jack John Trarius <laughs> when they're fucking seventeen. <laughs> Dude, now he's in London. Does he participate in the Wee Brother program? This is a joke. What? I'm what? What's Wee Brother? <laughs> Wee Brother? What is it? We're we're women. We could take it. Oh, what wee. is it? Oh, yeah. Wee. Like like Irish. Like you know, like Wee. A oh, Wee Brother. Like little, oh, brother. <laughs> little brother. Oh, the Wee right. Lads program. It, the Wee it. Lads. I think he's had enough of doing good deeds for the rest <laughs> of his <laughs> life, <laughs> and he's never gonna have a kid ever. <laughs> I think he's over it. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, he thought, and like the you know. People like kids who come little little brothers in the program. You don't get into the program because your life's awesome and yeah. your family's perfect and you don't have like a lot of difficult shit going on. You know, it's like when you have a little brother in the program, you also have the little brother's single mom oh, <laughs> who's got another little brother like by a different. Big dad. That probably like, complicated that she, the mom was texting your boyfriend like, how do you like your dick so ugly? <laughs> <laughs> That's a okay. shit. Yeah, I think yeah, I you think if like it. I, you got to make changes in your life. If they if someone says, hey, we're going to appoint a big brother to your son, you got to be like, God damn, I got to figure my life out. Yeah. This sucks. Well, I think you like volunteer your kid for it. And you're like, this could need some mentorship staff. Oh, my, cousin, man. my cousin was in a, a little sister program because her mom got shot by her ex. Jesus. Yeah, no, like she still has like a little like um like a little like cantaloupe like like gunshot oh like God. no it's I, it, I know it's sad but um yeah. it's awesome also it, well you know what? my ex my I took my ex to a barbecue and he's like what's up with Bullethead over there <laughs> <laughs> but her big brother was Captain I met her shooter in prison <laughs> <laughs> but her her big brother was Captain Sully. No way. Oh, my cousin's big brother wow. was Captain Sully. Whoa. But, yeah. did, he, did he let her get drunk in the airport bar? <laughs> Maybe. She was at his wedding. I saw that. So Can a yeah. podcast get a little brother? <laughs> Can we get a little I feel brother? Like we got one yeah. today. <laughs> no, Ben's a real boy. <laughs> Can we get a troubled youth and kind of guide him? 
All right. So now we we have uh, an intern. We have we need a uh, middle aged black woman to take care of things around here. And now we need <laughs> a bad impoverished child. Yeah, we need a seventy five year old. I mean, seventeen year old criminal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll take an old guy too. I don't care. Let's just fill, let's just fill this place with miscreants. It's just such a liability when they're seventeen because there's so <laughs> yeah. much bad shit that they can mm-hmm. get into. That's hard mode. That's level three. <laughs> they're not, but it's still a child technically. Yeah. But you know it's not. Yeah. You know when you grow up hard like that, then you're you like that. They have yeah. that's an adult mentality. You know yeah. what I mean? That's legally a kid, but. Yeah, they, they be fucking shit up. God, and then, <laughs> God forbid, the agency finds out what we mean by physical fitness. <laughs> Is it the black workout? Yes, it's the black workout. <laughs> <laughs> women's brain working again. Women's brain. I hope you guys are tolerating oh, my woman's wow. brain. <laughs> I'm just a woman. We figured it out. Well, he told us. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, did he have a choice in picking this 17 year old, nope. or did they just nope. like here take him? They assign you a kid, so you don't know what you're getting. It's potluck. Oh no. It could be any kid. It could be a cutie. And he told us, so we <clears> went on like a family. Um, went out with the family, and he said that all this kid's siblings were adorable. <laughs> uh. He was like the worst one. Oh, was he like gross and smelly too? <laughs> he oh. was short and jacked. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> That'd be a cool sidekick to have. It was well. Here's and and I think he had like some learning disabilities. It was it was a tough combination. And can you pick a normal kid or is it just like you don't even <laughs> you don't get not normal, but I I mean not like. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Not Latin jacked or, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. or squirrel brained. A tiny masturbator. Yeah. <laughs> They're all tiny masturbators. That's my favorite Elton John song. <laughs> Who isn't a tiny masturbator? <laughs> yeah, can I can I get one that's not a disabled soup can cranking his hog in my fucking Buick? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me apologize for my behavior, you guys. Yeah, start a, uh, a disabled soup can program, just so people know exactly what they're getting into. So when you show up at the park, it's got to be utterly deflating when you show up and you hear, excuse me, my man, you Charles, you trying to play catch. Me and Max introduced this kid to um, boxing or, you know, like people go to like boxing gym mm-hmm. to get some of his short aggression out. Uh, oh, yeah, that's perfect for troubled youths. And it was perfect for troubled youths, yeah, but like the kid, you know, here's the thing, to be fair, as a kid, like I didn't have any stick with itness at all as a kid either. I needed an adult to be like, do this, go here, go here. Mm-hmm. I wasn't going to do jack shit on my own. I was a kid, and I wasn't like a go-getter, so the kid just like did, wouldn't go, and, and just would like continue to bring his masturbation <laughs> problems to my ex. <sighs> my ex was like, I'm not your dad. Like, I am not. <laughs> brother your dad and he's like i know (laughs) (laughs) i know poor baby i have no idea what i met him oh i forgot about this until right this second the kid found me on instagram and used to dm me hey how are you he was a hey guy (laughs) how do i like my dick stuff wow (laughs) he dm me hey so much and he oh he like tried to um instagram facetime me and he was like why won't you pick up he was like a little masturbator. Oh God, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. That's a taking yeah. time bomb in your life. Yeah. No this shit. is this is the blind side too. This is what they don't want to make. <laughs> <laughs> he was in. We were in. Yeah, the same home. At one point, well, I mean, we we went. Oh my God, we like. I had met him. I had met him in person at some event that you know I was at. My boyfriend was at, and and this kid was at. And then he found me, and I was like, "That's cute." Like, found me on Instagram. It's like. When someone follows me, I see it as support, you know, mm-hmm. like, hey, now we know each other or I want to see what's going on. And um, and yeah, he hated me for years. Mm. Oh, he my hate- God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was it was weird because I knew that he was weird. I knew he was a weird kid. I'd met him. So I knew it wasn't just like a benign hay. I knew it was a hay coming from a troubled person mm-hmm. Ooh, and it's man. not fair to say every look, night you're just like please just kill yourself already god <laughs> damn it please just be murdered in gang violence or in a botched <laughs> carjacking or... and i don't want to be callous because it's a child well, i mean now it's a full <laughs> no, adult. A now it's a felon but like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but at the time i was like i don't want to be unkind like we're all trying to give this kid a leg up and give him adult wisdom and stuff but i showed him a tip yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flash him, just get him to calm down just one, though it's fine <laughs> just relax it's like yeah, yeah. this poor kid that's when they give a fucking gorilla a stuffed animal <laughs> what karen ought to die oh yeah, yeah. Minority, i'm sorry <laughs> it was a lot i forgot that he was a hay 
He's yeah. a hey dude. You wow. FaceTime me, yeah. <laughs> I think we I there's there's definitely we've gotta we've gotta do some work <laughs> toward fixing the hey guys. I think if we were the ones that solved, you know, weird guy shootings, mm-hmm. we, they'd have to That's put, put us in the, they'd have to put us in the newspaper. You guys should or shoot it could a just PSA. be a joke. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> shoot a PSA. <laughs> Or you could just say that at Helium. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that's what that's the, what you don't think about. Sometimes childhood cancer takes out a hay guy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe those people grow yeah. up to be hay guys. Where are my hay kids at? <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I wonder if doctors can get a sense of the kids that are really bad and they just don't try as hard with them. Oh, you ever oh think maybe about some that? of them are. A- I think some of them are assholes. Maybe like yeah. you don't know. Maybe they're like brats. Do you have a li- liaison at St. Jude's I can ask about this? The woman who calls me for more money every month, I can ask her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, we hey, you- how are you? Yeah. Yeah. She's a hey woman. With yeah, dollars. Like, we're doing helium later. Yeah. Relax. Yes, yeah, let's promote now before we head over to the Patreon. Can you talk about the show? Nice. We are going to be at Helium here in Philly today, the January twenty fourth at eight p.m. And we've got a stacked lineup. Yeah, it'll be a stacked lineup, and proceeds go to St. Jude's Hospital. So come for on children. out. Yeah, for, for children, for specifically, kids. not for the the doctors there. Not for Just the adults at the hospital. Not for the adults. No. <laughs> the good ones and the bad ones. The good ones. Are, yeah, even if you're an asshole, you're going to get money. So. Even if you're a hay. Yeah. If you're a kid and you've got cancer, guess what? It's it's part of the ecosystem. <laughs> <laughs> you finish that thought. <laughs> if you're a kid and you have cancer, then this show is for you. Yeah, it's in your <laughs> honor. You wish you got more cancer. And no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, now go FaceTime a stranger. <laughs> 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 God damn. Yeah, just saying it's St. Jude's awesome lineup and um so, yeah, the last show was super awesome. Yeah, fun. packed out and this lineup's going to be really really fun and the best the comics best. in the Philly. Best of the, the best in Philly. Best of the best in Philly. We get New York comics asking us to do the show all the time. And we say no. No. And we say go fuck yourself. They ask to come Philly. down to Philly? Yep. Dude, they don't they don't want any of this. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you to come down to Philly, dude. Just show up on announce. Watch what happens. <laughs> yep, we get it all the time I'll and fucking we give say, you cancer. We Philly's say <laughs> fucking Philly. <laughs> we say no. Well, we appreciate you guys doing that. This, I mean, it's, it's fucking cool. I, I actually had the realization today. I was like, why is it all Philly guy? Oh, because that actually rules. And this no, is no, it's cool. the yeah, best. We're in your yeah. city. Why are we gonna bring our people to your city? Hey, we love you're it here the, and so you're, much. You guys are like actually funny. Oh, oh, it's we nice. talk about Thank it you. all the time. You guys are actually funny Philly too. Philly is better than New York. <laughs> Philly. Okay, the hang, the Philly hang. We've talked about this extensively. The we Philly had a great hang time last time. Is best. so much better than the New York. You hang. guys are like it's... real ass dudes. I know it's the wrong podcast, but. <laughs> <laughs> Also, that's not the but meaning of the word. The meaning real ass means uh, won't get therapy and is always alone. But um, <laughs> is it clip but it? We mean that clip it. Genuine. Guys, clip it. Clip it. Yeah, clip it. Let's go. It. Let's start it. Let's start shit. Let's go. <laughs> we Damn. mean that you guys are genuine and cool. Thank like you. what it's like, supposed like, to mean. Yeah. Like, clip well, it right now, Danny. Let's, <laughs> so let's start shit. Let's uh, get some uh, listeners. Yeah, let's get shit started. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to promote before we switch over? Oh, that's it. Our Why Say hey to me on show, wait, wait, hold on. Our show at the stand tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's right. D- m- more money for St. Jude's tomorrow at the stand, January twenty fifth, eight p.m. We got to get no, you nine guys on. PM. Nine p.m. No, don't come at the eight p.m. show. And um, <laughs> we're are, we're opening for Jim Florentine March twenty fifth at oh, Uncle yeah. Vinny's. So right. come see us there and yeah. down the Jersey Shore. You know Philly loves the shore. So and Jim Florentine and rules. Jim Florentine and Jim Florentine. Rules. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, 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 420, April 20th. <laughs> we're doing live stoner dads at Magoobies in Timonium, Maryland. Please come to that. The following week, April 28th, me and Mike Rainey, dad me live at Laugh It Up Poughkeepsie. Get tickets now. We're going to have a fucking killer time. Actually, the goal is to just have a killer time forever and never stop. These are, these are the first two steps in 2023. Stay posted. Thank you. All the things that Tim said. Also, check out Little Stingers, my podcast with Del Calo and uh, my beloved Jake Matera. Uh, but most importantly, please buy this fucking book. <laughs> I put so much fucking work into this. Um, I had so much goddamn fun not only writing this book, but then doing the audio book with Tim and all my fucking boys. So it's got Shaner, it's got McKeever, it's got McCusker, Mary Rudzinski. Fucking David James did his entire narration in the voice of an old black woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking incredible. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Buy this book. It chronicles my three-year run with prescription painkillers. It documents all my retarded perk thoughts in there that I posted on Facebook. And I chose to compile into a book, put them together in this sweet little packet here. Handsome little package. It's it's lovely. And on top of that, too, the audiobook has twice the content that the print copy has. So if you go to onperks.com, that's O-N-P-E-R-C-S.com, you can get all the shit. You can get the audiobook, the ebook, 
the print copy, and you will make my wiener wiggle. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Goodbye. See you on the Patreon. Oh, you guys are great. You guys are I fucking sure? best, man. Clip that was it. so much fun. <laughs>